Hello guys, me Carson, today Capricorn FF, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the 2024 NASCAR Cup season preview. So, as you guys watched the race yesterday from Los Angeles, it was an okay race. <laughs> there was this long green flag lap, I mean green flag run, and yeah, good thing it wasn't like last year. 16 cautions, man. But the only thing they wanted was 150 green flag laps, so yellow flag didn't count. So, to be honest, I think it was a fair race. And my guy, Kyle Larson, started eighth. He stayed in the somewhere between fifth and eighth, eighth all day. And he actually battled for lead, and unfortunately, he didn't lead lap. And yeah, he was going after Danny Hamlin for lead, but hey, I think the duo of Hamlin and Ty Gibbs kind of dominated the race, so, yep, this is like a sneak peek of what 2024 is going to look like with the short track pack engine, saying they want to put more downforce, more horsepower, at tracks like Martinsville or Richmond, Bristol, those are the conventional and traditional short tracks that most of the cup cars need to pack all this season. So I kind of believe that the test that they did at Phoenix Raceway helped, but technically I didn't do my research when I realized, oh, <laughs> they're doing a bit of adjustments with the underbody of the car, the rear diffuser, and possibly the splitter too. Which I don't know if cut cars have splitters, but I never hear the word splitter as much, but I think they do, so. Let me try to rewind everything that I know. So, Final four drivers, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, William Byron and Christopher Bell from last year. Yeah, well, Christopher Bell didn't make it. William Byron, he was on inconsistent. Didn't see much of him up front, along with Alice Bowen and Chase Ellie. So I guess Kyle Larson carried the torch for Henry Motorsports. So that's basically something that Rick Hendrick will uh, discuss with the team and say, hey, we'll give you better race cars and let each of you decide amongst yourselves which races you want to get the best package in any racetrack. So, let's see. Yep, Chase Elliott and Denny Hamlin had their off-season surgeries from 2023 and Hopefully they don't get injured again, <laughs> like off the racetrack for Elliot in a snowboarding in the incident. Denny Hamlin, his rotator cuff, as mentioned in the NASCAR Netflix documentary, Full Speed. So, what else? I basically uh, discussed everything from the 2024 LA class at the Coliseum to what happened last season and off-season moves and all that, including the injuries of Hamlet and Elliot. So there's not that much to say. It's just I hopefully pray for a good season. Like I think next week is not not much on track action at Daytona. Maybe around Tuesday or Wednesday. Is when the teams will arrive, and yeah, I kind of like this move. Takes the travel expenses out of it, and you just don't have to keep spending money on qualifying setups 
and then wrecking cars, getting backups from the haulers. <laughs> Man, this is the new way of Daytona Speed Week. So, <laughs> so basically, it's just <laughs> the way things are run. And I have to adapt. Race fans adapt. And they don't complain and whine on social media. So that's my take on the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season. I'll hopefully uh, have a happy Valentine, happy early Valentine's Day and um, happy 2024. So I'm making Apple Car 9-5. Hope you all have a good evening and enjoy the rest of y'all's I don't want to say off season, but NASCAR's close in two weeks, so peace out.